Although the human brain is an incredibly complex organ, it can make mistakes when interpreting the world around us. We feel at every waking moment like we're taking in the entire world in front of us and seeing it in rich detail, but it's not true. It's a lie that our brains are telling us. Brian Scholl is a world-renowned experimental psychologist who specializes in perception. In fact, we only see the tiniest part of the visual field in, in clear, high resolution at any given moment. About, about one degree, about the width of your thumb held at arm's length. The rest of the world at any given moment is incredibly fuzzy. And so the brain is always making these detective-like guesses. And there's always the possibility that it will get things wrong. There are two fundamental elements of perception that help to explain how easy it is for our brains to get things wrong. The first is known as pareidolia, a process that tells the brain to recognize faces and bodies wherever possible. Perceiving these things is so important, has been so important in the course of our evolution, that we have specialized neural circuitry, special aspects of visual processing that are devoted to recognizing faces and to recognizing bodies. As a result, those systems even operate a little bit too much, causing us to see faces when they're not really there, causing us to see bodies when they're not really there. The second way that the brain can be influenced is a concept known as priming. Maybe you're thinking about your Aunt Matilda, and so you then are more likely to see your Aunt Matilda when you see someone from the back, say, at a distance that looks like it could be her. But other things can be primed in all of us by modern popular culture. So if the popular milieu is getting us to think of, say, Bigfoot or Jaws or whatever it is, that's going to make it all the more likely to actually perceive that concept in any context when the information is ambiguous. Where do you see Bigfoot? Hazily in the distance, in the forest, right? Those are exactly those sorts of ambiguous conditions where, especially if you've got Bigfoot on the mind, you're going to be much more likely to be led astray by those hunches, maybe mistakenly recognizing Bigfoot in every misshapen tree or strange-looking animal. And what you're left with is as much the story you're telling yourself about what you saw as it is the image that you actually experienced.